this uh, situation is not over. Uh, we're going to have a very, very tough day today of firefighting. When the winds kick up this afternoon, this is going to be incredibly challenging, and there are, we are not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. We're not, we're not even looking at containment now. We're just trying to, first thing is public safety's lives, firefighters' lives, and uh, protecting structures. We'll uh, assess this later in the, in the day as far as containment and our further goals. It's just the case of the chaparral, the long drought, the high temperatures, the sundowner winds, uh, blue embers all over, and it's just something that Mother Nature is in control and we aren't. It's uh, very intermittent. This fire has uh, you know, destroyed some and left others uh, as, as it's worked its way down. There's some areas where you know, an entire street looks like it was taken out, but there's other areas where you know, you'll have maybe 10 homes out of 60 that have burned. So it's, uh, it, you know, the fire is, is, is uh, you know, not very discriminatory. It just, uh, it just uh, depends on what uh, the homes are built of, I suppose, and what, uh, you know, what pathway they happen to be in and which way the, the fire is coming. Uh, my assessment, this is like a strong undertow. Uh, the fuse has been lit on this uh, brush for years, for 30 years. Um, we've talked, we've drilled, we've prepared. I'm surprised we haven't lost 500 homes at this moment.